Welcome to Marrakesh. At the heart of Marrakesh is its tallest structure, the 12th century Kutubaya Mosque. We arrived in Marrakesh in early October, just one month after the 2023 earthquake. And we were surprised to see how quickly the city had bounced back. Between the Kutubaya Mosque and the entrance to the Medina is the Jama El Fina Square which transforms into a wild night circus every evening with musicians, storytellers, snake charmers, food stalls, henna tattooing, dancers, and games. The Marrakesh Medina is an UNESCO World Heritage Site dating back to the 11th century long before cars. If you've booked your hotel or Riyadh in the Medina, your airport taxi will drop you off outside the old Medina fortress walls, and it's up to you and your unstable GPS signal to find your room in the 19 square kilometer corn maze of narrow alleys and dead ends. So this is our hood. We've just been traveling about four minutes through a whole labyrinth of deserted nooks and crannies, twists and turns. And you can understand why it was a little difficult to try and locate our... Sure it is. You're sure? All right. I'm holding you to it. So this is our Riyadh at Dar Dawood. Cool door. Oh, see the big sign up there. We missed that one. I don't know why we didn't notice that. It's locked. It's locked. We need the key. What is it? Is this a hotel for me? Sorry, cut that. It's not politically correct. This is a hotel for little people. <coughs> Which is a little bit of a stress for someone my size to enter into. Okay, go for it, sweetie. Watch your head. Yep, I'm going to. Oh, All right. You can shut the door. I don't have any free hands. Here's the oasis. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this is our stairway to heaven. It's pretty narrow. At this point, my shoulders touch both sides of the wall. This is. We do have a nice little chaise location here. Another floor up. Here we are in Marrakesh in our lovely little room in our Riyadh that was very difficult to find. And we have our little bedroom with an air conditioner, thank goodness. We used to have a table in the middle of the floor, but we piled that all up so that we can not kill ourselves on the way to the bathroom, yes. which is lovely. Watch the step. It has a big step and a low ceiling, and will be tricky in the middle of the night. Beautiful tile, though. Gorgeous. And then 
We have a little balcony. And we have two levels of roof. Staying inside the Medina does have its rewards. In proximity to historic sites like the 16th century, Ben Yusuf Madrasa is one of them. The Madrasa is the largest in North Africa and one of the most ornate. Every surface of the courtyard is elaborately decorated. Colorful mosaic tiles and a repetitive star pattern cover the lower part of the columns. Above the tiles are bands of Quranic text interwoven with floral designs. The Mihab Sal du Prayer or prayer room is particularly stunning. The Madrasa contains 132 rooms, accommodating 900 students. Most of these rooms are open to the public, and there's some great views from the second floor. Another must-see attraction is the 19th century Baha'i Palace. This 8,000 square meter floor-to-ceiling extravagance starts with a modest palm courtyard and then dazzles you with spectacular ceilings that are as close to heaven as I can imagine. Traveling through Morocco is fast, efficient, and inexpensive when you go by train or bus. A one-way ticket on the high-speed train from Marrakesh to Fez takes about six and a half hours for the 400-kilometer trip and costs just $40. Next stop for us is Meknes, Morocco. All aboard! <laughs>